welcome to lit valentine it's my pleasure to welcome you all once again i think it's a week it's a week after one week i am talking to you now i hope so everybody is fine now after uh, completing your net exam so today we are going to see some of the strategies to crack net in the upcoming exams too and i am going to discuss about the previous exam which we all had completed now so let's start with a new fresh and the positive vibe today with this let's move on to the next slide my dear friend net the first thing i want to share with you all is know the syllables first whatever the exams you are attending it's not a problem my dear friends you can attend whatever the exams but before attending the exams and before starting preparation for the exams know the syllabus first you will have plenty of sources to search the syllabus so searching the syllabus browsing the syllabus is not that much difficult task so first understand that even you can attend the exam like csir net or whatever the government exams they are conducting nowadays so first know the syllabus thoroughly what are all the portions they are scheduled so keep that in mind keep a note separately know the syllabus first if you have any problem like uh, you are having the uh, memory problems like keep remembering things by making note of it so that's not that much difficult task so first understand the syllabus so the next thing is follow the correct lectures i will not state that just follow my channel there are many other channels plenty of channels youtube channels are there many websites are there you can browse whatever you like which you are feeling comfortable with you can discuss the channels which you are feeling comfortable with which making you to understand very better you can browse those channels so you can follow the correct lectures it will help you to follow the correct lectures because many are giving many lectures my dear friends even while preparing for the exam myself i myself will search for many channels but i will point out and pick out the channels which making me to feel comfortable with so i am telling you all that make sure that you are feeling comfortable with that particular channel whether they are giving the correct lectures or that keep thinking that and follow that channel regularly don't browse here and there for example if you are talking or if you are uh, want to see some particular channel follow that till your exams okay so don't skip here and there if you want to watch the video regularly you can keep subscribing that channel and follow it regularly so that you will get the daily and regular updates okay so <coughs> excuse me so you can get the regular updates okay so keep following that so it will help you a lot to make your subjects to understand it much better okay so keep doing that <coughs> sorry for the interruption actually i am having a little cold problem that's why so please bear with me and here the next thing is schedule the timing schedule the timing is very very important whatever the exams you are facing that's not a problem at all but please schedule the timing i know many of you are working people many of your students you will have all the other academic works at the same time you need to concentrate on your exams too i will not say that just spend the whole day by taking the book on reading line by line like that just schedule the timing for example you are having 24 hours in a day okay so this 24 hours just keep schedule the time for the 2 hours or for the 3 hours or even you can schedule the hours you can break the hours into 15 minutes or 30 seconds like that and keep that in your mind that today we are going to complete this particular portion like that it will help you a lot to complete the whole syllabus okay and in many channels they are saying that you can complete this or you can complete this and that and if you read just two hours in a day or just three hours in a day it's much it's very very easy for you to crack the exams like net and all the other competitive exams actually it's a false statement my dear friends because while you are preparing for the exams you have to spend lot and lot of time okay you have to research yourself and 
you have to spend much time in that so that it will help you to crack your exams just spending two hours or three hours is not enough that's why i am telling you repeatedly schedule the timing break the two hours and three hours into 15 minutes 10 minutes like that and keep that in your mind that today i am going to focus on this chapter i am going to complete this and that and i am going to give revise okay so try to schedule the timing and increase your timing so that will help you to score much better in your exams the overnight study will not help you for example tomorrow if you are having an exam and you are keeping revising all those things in the one night it will not help you to score much marks in your exams so just keep schedule the timing it will take nearly or six months or seven months that's not a problem at all usually while cracking the competitive exams you need to spend more time just a month is not enough to learn everything because it's a vast area for example if you take ugc net english english is a vast area from the old english literature till the contemporary literature you have to concentrate on more authors their works and lot and lot of things are there you are not going to focus on only the stories and plot okay you have to concentrate on literary theories criticism and so many chapters are included there so if you schedule the timing it will help you a lot to, to score more so keep schedule the timing which i am telling in all my previous videos too so with this let's move on to the next reading as i said you before you can watch the channels which you are feeling comfortable with but that alone will not help you to score better self reading and self analysis is very very important for example now i am giving you lectures you can hear that that's not a problem okay you can take my ideas but you have to use it in your regular life that's very important you need to analyze yourself for example if you are hearing some stories from chaucer's canterbury tales like that just hearing the stories will not help you to score much better you have to read it you have to sit separately you have to read it you have to analyze the characters who are all the characters are coming and that will help you to analyze more and help you to make more notes okay always the detailed illustrations will help you to score much better friends because direct questions are not asking in these exams keep that in mind direct questions they are not asking any direct questions but you have to understand what sort of things they are asking so to understand what sort of things they are asking you need to do the self reading just hearing the summaries just hearing the plot will not help you to understand the detail illustration the detail content okay you have to sit and read separately you have to make notes just hearing the lectures or just hearing the short notes and summaries will not help you at all it will never help you for your exams whatever the exams it may be okay self reading is very very must just hearing the lectures here and there and taking notes like uh, scanning something like that it will not help you you have to do self reading self reading will help you a lot so the next thing is know the way of questions asked from the previous exam usually no many students will do the mistake they will read the previous question papers they will try to memorize the old question papers keep that in mind they are not asking questions from previous year questions paper okay you can see the previous year questions you can just analyze to know what sort of questions they are asking in what format they are asking like that you can browse you can take use or you can make use of the old question papers but the exact questions what they have asked in the previous exam will never repeat in the upcoming exam so please don't memorize the questions and answer which they have asked in the previous exam okay you can just know the pattern you can just know the pattern and you can just know the strategies from the previous exams but the questions and answers will not get repeated okay keep that in mind you can learn the concepts their way of asking in from what chapters they are giving much importance even the chapters too they are not giving much importance to the old chapters which they have asked previously you have to concentrate on the contemporary literature much more of course there will be questions on shakespeare chaucer everything but it will be 
and a one one question okay they will not ask many portions from the previous questions or many for many questions from the previous areas okay the contemporary literature you should concentrate must on the com contemporary literature which will help you a lot to score more okay as i said you now don't memorize the previous questions you can just know the way for the way how they are asking questions in what sort so just for that you can take the previous questions but the exact questions and answers will never repeat in the upcoming exams and give importance to the contemporary literature which i said now because the chapters are getting updated for example if you take paper 1 especially in higher education like that there are many systems and many new schemes are added there so automatically they will make you to answer the questions which you are not familiar with because they want you to know more they want your knowledge to know about the upcoming sessions which they are keeping okay for example you are living in this scenario my dear friends so you need to understand what are all the new schemes the government are implementing so without knowing this you cannot go and attend the exams randomly okay you need to understand that what are all the new schemes are updated in the education system because we are all students so we have to understand what are all the new schemes they are implemented and this scheme is uh, usually meant for what is the reason so all these things you have to understand that i will not state that you should not concentrate on the old things like that you can concentrate on old things old chapters like old english literature and whatever the things which you are having in in your syllabus okay but i am stating that give importance to the contemporary literature much more that will help you a lot okay the next thing is don't learn anything from the last moment the last moment preparation is actually a worst idea my dear friends if you want to read or if you want to do your exams in a very well manner you should read it from the beginning okay the last moment preparation will not help you at all the last minute preparation is an utter waste okay you are having nearly 10 chapters in each 10 chapters you have plenty of syllabus for example if you take paper 1 it's a general paper you have to concentrate on more things like max teaching aptitude research aptitude higher education and all these are the vast chapters like people development environment these chapters are something very very vast you cannot read it all within the one night so please don't do that if you didn't prepare no problem at all you just go and attend the exam and just feel the exposure of the exam it will give you an idea for the next exam but please don't memorize or don't get uh, any kind of tensions before the night of the exam okay it will never help you a lot in paper 1 sort out the topics which you are comfortable with in paper 1 you will have 10 chapters okay like teaching aptitude research aptitude reading comprehension communication in technology and ict like that so 10 chapters are there so for some you will feel comfortable with max for some max they will hate max for some people they will feel much comfortable with teaching aptitude research aptitude and reading comprehension communication these sort of questions first keep that in mind which topics are you are comfortable with okay for some max is a very very easy topic for some max is an at most difficult task so if you are feeling not comfortable with the topic in paper 1 just leave that that's not a problem at all just give importance to the topics which you are comfortable with in the beginning stage i am pointing you out that because i am not telling you that skip the max okay you can concentrate on max but little later first give importance to the topics which you are comfortable with because from each chapter like teaching aptitude you will have five questions research aptitude you will have five questions so in that case if you are scheduling everything like the chapters you are comfortable with and not comfortable with will help you to score much better marks so that's the point i want to say first give importance to the topics which you are comfortable with then you can concentrate on the chapters which you are not comfortable with like max data interpretation if you want to prepare max and all you have to do regularly 
maths need daily preparation data interpretation and uh, these sort of maths related topics will not make you to understand within a night okay it needs some practice but the teaching aptitude research aptitude reading comprehension these sort of topics are very different okay so keep that in mind and start preparing like that as i said you now max need to practice daily if you are interested in max and if you want to get better marks using the max problems you have to practice daily in paper 2 i want to state that major writers minor works minor writers major works for example in the recent exam they have asked about the house of fame the house of fame was written by who which author had written the house of fame it was written by they have i think they have given the options like uh, chaucer william langland like that so we all know canterbury tales was written by chaucer because we are familiar with the writer okay chaucer is a very familiar writer canterbury tales is a very familiar work i am stating that just concentrate on the minor works if you take house of him it was written by chaucer but many of us will not aware of that because we all know about chaucer's canterbury tales but house of him it's a also an important work of chaucer so do analyze this analyzation will come till you are taking the book and doing the self study without self reading without self study you cannot understand much things in a better way i am telling you repeatedly that you can watch the lectures which you are feeling comfortable with i am not forcing you to watch this channel and that that channel if you are feeling comfortable with any channel you can watch that but here the correct lectures take notes do self study only hearing the lectures will not help you and all my dear friends keep that in mind as i am telling you now keep concentrating on the works written by major writers that should be a minor works if you take minor writers concentrate on their major works okay so these things are very very small things so small strategies which will help you to score much better okay and here we are coming to the end of the slide that related links are provided in every shorts and videos here i am telling you repeatedly my dear friends related links and provided in every shots of mine in lit valentine in all my previous videos and in the upcoming videos i am posting the related links in the description in both the shots and videos if you take the shots shots is not about only academics it is apart from academics okay apart from the academics if you want to know something better if you want to know some unknown things interesting things you can watch my shots and as well as the videos this videos are especially meant for the ugc net english students okay and if you want to hear some great stories english stories you can watch my channel and you everybody can watch the shorts of mine okay the shorts is not based on the only academics it is apart from the academics if you want to know something interesting you can watch my shorts and for the videos too it is not alone for ugc net english students if you want to hear some major stories or if you want to hear some great english stories you can watch my channel which i am going to upload now and you can browse my previous videos too the related links are there even the playlist are provided so you don't want to browse here and there you can watch everything in a very easy way We are coming to the end of this slide my dear friends subscribe let valentine for more interesting videos i need all your support in the upcoming videos too till the next video take care bye bye thank you